Speaking on the recent episode of Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping, who is also a member of RVCA Gym, gave his thoughts on the recent altercation between UFC fighter Sean Strickland and BJJ black belt Orlando Sanchez. Here's what he said. The, the thing is, Orlando went for that a second earlier and Sean didn't say anything. And then he did it again and he hurt him a little bit. Now, of course, it is he tricky because- the uh, the elbow. Yeah, well, it didn't hyperextend it, but, but said well, that's it what he, he That's what he ends up saying. So he goes, You're Yeah, well, hyperextending it's going that way, doing what Paul Craig did to Jamal Hill, but he just kind of talks it inwards like that. It, it, it could injure him, and especially with him having a fight coming up. Obviously, he's got his first main event, I think, against Uriah Hall. Doesn't want to get injured. And I understand Sean's point because, you know, you want to train with good people and you want to, you want to train with people that aren't going to injure you. And that could have done. It could have really injured him, you know. But on the flip side, unless you talk about it beforehand, I don't know who's right. I don't know who's wrong. But Sean was wrong to react like that, though, to throw a spinning back fist and then kick him in the stomach. I mean, that's that's fighting talk. But, hey, hey listen, this is the thing. When you're training for fights, stuff like that happens not all the time, but it's not uncommon. You know, you got guys, you got alpha males, you got people that believe in themselves, you got tough guys, you know, and you go head to head, and sometimes you meet your match, or not necessarily meet your match, maybe you clash and tempers flare. I've I've been there many, many times. The, the, the thing is, you got to be a good training partner. Simple as that. All right, Orlando shouldn't have done that. Um, Fair play to Sean the way he acted. You know, I mean, that was ballsy. Makes you respect him. It's as simple as that. He's not going to do that again. On Saturday, Anderson Silva made his return to boxing for the first time since 2005 against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in Mexico. Surprisingly, Silva was able to land more punches over the 8 round bout and two of the three judges scored the fight in his favor. Taken to his social media after the fight, Silva posted an emotional statement where he thanked his fans for the support and promised to keep going forward. I'm grateful for all the opportunities that life has given me all the difficulties I've been through, and I never stopped believing in my potential. I always dedicated myself to the maximum, overcoming all obstacles, never letting myself get down for absolutely anything. I am immensely grateful to everyone who was part of my journey, to those who cheered for my success, and even those who played against. Because each one of them was a key part for me to get here. Finally, my people, this message, it's for you, my followers, don't stop believing, do the best with what you have at the moment, donate 100% in everything you do with your heart and with love. No one but you can dictate the rules of your journey. Kiss, my people. Success is the result of hard work, a lot of love, and dedication. Vitor Belfort was supposed to make his return to boxing last weekend against YouTuber The Real Tarzan, but the entire Triller Fight Club boxing event was pushed back to later this summer. Speaking to the media ahead of the now cancelled event, Belfort was asked what he thinks about MMA fighters such as Askren and Woodley making the move to boxing for high profile fights. Here's what he said. I just think these guys are the worst representation of MMA. These guys that you just mentioned, I can fight all of them in one night, I'll put them out. They cannot even survive two rounds with me, these MMA athletes that are representing us in boxing. My daughter, have you seen my daughter punch? My daughter Victoria can put these guys out. Because they don't know how to box. My kids have boxed since they were kids. What do you guys think about these comments from Vitor Belfort? Do you agree with his criticism of Tyron Woodley and Ben Askren entering the boxing ring? Let us know in the comments section. Speaking to UFC News, Marlon Chito Vera discussed his win over Davy Grant at UFC Vegas 28 last Saturday 
and explained why the Dominic Cruz fight makes a lot of sense. It feels amazing, you know, uh, he, he, he had me back in the day when I was younger, when I was green in the game and you ain't beating me twice, that's not gonna happen. And when they called me for this fight, honestly, I was expecting a bigger fight, but it's hard to go against somebody that you're supposed to win. It's, it's not as simple as it looks and, you know, everybody's like, oh, easy fight. There's no easy fight in that octagon and that, that proved today, but that also proved my level, my 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 gas tank, my technique, and I'm not gonna just give up. I think it makes sense just because, you know, he's coming of one win, I'm coming of one win. I'm, I've been top 15 for a while now, and, you know, I fought the best in the division. You know, my last fight was against Jose Aldo, and he had to hold me down in order to win that that fight, you know. I feel I won the fight, he just won on points that much. But as I said before, there's no excuses. If the guy hold me down, that's on me to escape, you know, so. I take it in the chin like a man, go back to the gym, work, and the guy put me down today, he didn't hold me down, I did work on that and, you know, the less holds the better. Shortly after the fight, Vera and Cruz met backstage to talk about a potential fight while Michael Bisping filmed it. Here's the footage. The day done at the apex, whoa. Yeah, I really don't like you, but I don't have my pants on, so I don't know how weird that is. It's very weird. What's going on here? What's going on? Sorry, guys. Did, did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. I'm, it's fine. It's fine. You're getting more and more naked by the second. Stop undressing. Marlon, great fight. Thank you, brother. Davey, I love you too, buddy. I love you, Davey. Dominic, you're a cunt. Bye-bye. <laughs> Today, that uh, the higher he gets up in, in the rankings, it's harder and harder to get knockouts and submissions. But uh, <coughs> slightly disappointing, he wasn't able to finish him. But uh, it's uh, the, you know the higher the level, it's just getting harder and harder. But he's super happy with the win. <laughs> been winning this fight, he loves this black belt. That means so much to him. Game plan, you go. Hmm. Actually, what's the game plan? Uh, <coughs> um, at first, he was kind of hesitant in, in believing in his wrestling and stuff like that, but uh, he believed the coaches at Fight Ready, and uh, yeah, he executed the game plan. He, uh, number one, could go. He doesn't know how the uh, the rankings of one, two, and three will turn out right now, or what's going to happen with their the fights. So he's gonna looks like he's gonna have to wait and see. Oh, uh, 아직 그 코리아 대한민국이라는 나라. He said. Uh, it, MMA is not as popular in, in Korea at, at this point, but uh, there's a lot of really good fighters coming out of South Korea, so uh, please support these guys.